your hair like stop playing stop playing like if she starts talking and yak yak yakking and nagging and screaming and stuff aka itching girl Beverly from Hair Scripts and today you click on this video because you want to know how to make this black rice water rinse treatment for your hair okay so if you don't know rice water is a tale as old as time you can find a billion videos on how it was used by the Yao women and all these different people and blah 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 and Indian women blah 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 the point blank in the period is I use black rice water rinse when I am returning from some type of high manipulation hairstyle, okay? That is the best time for you to use it and it's it's all the properties that it has whether the properties are, you know, protein because black rice water versus white rice Black rice water has double the protein. So if white rice has six grams of protein, then black rice water has 12 grams of protein. So it's way more intense as far as the protein. And then there's a whole bunch of minerals, vitamins, and a whole bunch of other just micronutrients within that that fermented rice water. Cause we're, I'm gonna show you how to ferment it. Please don't boil it. Don't kill its properties. I'm gonna show you the proper way to make this rinse treatment. And I like the rinse better because you put it in, you put it on your hair and then you rinse it out. You don't want anything like that to be left in your hair because it can really, really dry out your hair. It can over treat it so much. But anyway, stay tuned to this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I make that fermented black rice water treatment. And then I'm gonna show you how I revert or convert from straight hair back to all this curliness that you see, curly juiciness that you see using the black rice water rinse. And of course, I kind of mix it up. I do like a, a hybrid treatment with another protein treatment, which is my DIY aloe vera and avocado mask, which I do have a video for, so you can check that out. Anyway, I've been talking enough. Let's just jump right into the video. So you're gonna need about a cup of black rice okay where do you get black rice i got this one from amazon so really you don't have to go crazy this one black pro rice is gluten-free it's whole grain and it's organic and you know i'm organic ish so you get it from amazon and then you're going to rinse and strain the black rice to remove all the impurities because sis you don't want all that stuff in your hair okay so the same way you have to wash rice before you cook it because you don't want to consume that. Please wash your rice water, please. So this is just me, just really quickly. I'm just getting all the ooky gooky gookiness out of it, whatever, if there's any pesticides or whatever. We just want to get rid of all the first layers of whatever um, might be in the rice. Okay, so I'm just trying to get the last minute, you know, crap and garbage out of the rice. And next, what you're gonna do is pretty much step two is you're just gonna strain the rice. You're gonna get all that stuff out, strain it. And now you're pretty much, it's really simple. You're really just rinsing all of it off, getting everything out. And then you're gonna basically put the rice back into the bowl and then you're just gonna put, now if you use a cup of rice like I did, you wanna use two cups. Again, it's almost like it's two cups of water. It's literally almost like cooking rice, right? So one cup or two cups for every one cup. Anyway, so now you're going to use, this is one cup right here. So now you're just going to use two cups of water and you're going to let it sit and ferment. Okay. So what that is, is you're going to keep it in whatever container you're using. I like to keep it in a bowl and then you're just going to keep it at room temperature for about 12 to 24 hours. Please allow it to ferment and let the minerals and the vitamins come out because that's what we need. We need, we need the minerals and the vitamins from the black rice water, but please do not let it sit for more than 24 hours because it can go bad and you don't want that. Okay. So look at this. It doesn't look like much right now, but that's okay. It's going to look clear, but it's going to change colors by 12 to 24 hours. But really quickly, I just wanna to talk to you about the benefits of rice water, especially black rice water. Black rice water rinses are amazing for hair growth, okay? It leads to thicker hair, it makes your hair more manageable, less frizzy, it increases hair elasticity, leading to less breakage, less shedding. Girl, it just increases the overall shine. I'll be honest, because there's protein and there's way more protein in black rice than it is in regular rice, I do not 
think that this is something you should do every day. Please don't do it every day. That much protein for your hair is not good. Protein is something you want to do once a month or once every other month, especially if your hair looks weak, if it looks like, you know, like if it looks weak and brittle, like if it just needs a little bit of strength, a little bit of help, I would do a rice water rinse once a month. But please, please, please do not OD. Because some people just don't, they just they just do it every day. And this is just not something you want to do every single day for your hair. I, it's just not because it's a lot of protein and just that much protein in your hair every single day is no good. If you do it every single day for a week, for one month and you alternate, you can do stuff like that. But this is not an every day of your life type of thing because your hair will, there's a such thing as too much protein and it will break off. The very thing that it's supposed to not do is gonna turn around and do. That's just my disclaimer to you guys. Okay, it's now 24 hours later. Or less than 24, you don't wanna keep it out for too long. Take a look at this. Take a look. Look at all those fermented rice properties right there. Okay, so now that it's been 24 hours, you're gonna transfer everything out of the bowl or whatever container you had it fermenting in into the container that you're gonna use to pretty much spring, put the rinse in your hair. It doesn't have to be an amber, amber bottle. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Obviously, I have an amber bottle and I'm using, um, I believe it's called a funnel. Please, if you know what the name of this little silver metallic, whatever this is that i'm using to put this the liquid in the bottle please comment down below and let me know what the name of that stuff is i have no idea i think it's a funnel but anyway i'm just now transferring everything from the bowl into this bottle it has a point tip i like point tip squeeze bottles because i can tell it what to do i can you know send it wherever i need to send it the obvious right so that's basically what you're gonna do. So let me explain how this works. You're gonna, when you're washing your hair, you're gonna wash and condition your hair first. You're gonna do your normal wash day routine and after you do your wash and conditioner, then you're gonna throw the rinse in there. Let it sit in your hair for 20 minutes after it's washed and conditioned and then after 20 minutes, you're gonna rinse it off. Hence why it's called a black rice water rinse, right? So that's why it's a rinse. So no, don't believe the hype. You're not gonna wash your hair. You're not gonna put this in first and then wash shampoo and conditioner. So that's really it in a nutshell. So you're rinsing your hair with this. It's extremely effective. And like I said before, please don't do this every day. Okay, so usually when I'm going from straight to back to curly, I use a protein mask. And this is my avocado, aloe vera, egg, banana, and honey humectant moisturizing mask that I made before. I have a video on it. Please go check it out. My DIY avocado, aloe vera mask, all that stuff. I use this because... It's a great way to basically put a protein treatment in your hair. So I'm lazy, so I don't really do a whole lot of sectioning and stuff. I'm just going to throw all this stuff in my hair. It's really moisturizing. It feels good going on. Oh, God, it's time to wash the scalp. I mean it. And so I'm using this as a protein mask treatment. It has aloe vera in it. It has, um, it has an egg. It has um, a banana. It has um, avocado, one whole avocado. It has some pumpkin seed oil, which is non-comedogenic, which I said before. I use pumpkin seed instead of olive oil. So whenever a recipe calls for a carrier oil, like a carrier oil, like olive oil or coconut oil, I use pumpkin seed oil because it's um, non-comedogenic. So I'm putting this all over my hair to kind of let my strands like chillax for a minute, okay? Now, I made this before in a different video, so I'm just showing you guys what I do when I'm coming back from curly. So my hair was bone dry. Depending on the texture of your hair, I mean, it was dry, but it was really oily, because after a while, my own oil, natural oils really start, you know, like, lay, weighing my hair down. So this is what I do. So, um, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so I have 3C hair, so please don't come for me. Like, that's just how my hair is. You know, everybody's texture is different. So this is what I do, right? So this is gonna sit here. Now, typically I'll say for like 20 minutes, 10 minutes, all of that, but I'm one of those people that like to set and forget. Meaning I'll pull it in, I put it, I'll put it in my hair, right? And then like if I got errands to run or things to do, I'll go ahead and do that stuff. And then when I'm done doing that stuff, I will um, 
So let me get the ends a lot more. That's what really needs more love, the ends. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. Mind you, like I mentioned before, it's straight, so I'm moving it from straight to uh, curly. And then I'm just gonna put it up in a bun. I gotta go, right now, where I'm at, it's about five o'clock Eastern. So I gotta go pick up my kids. So what I'm gonna do, hold on, let me show you real quick. I'm not looking at the lens, but, um, so this is what I did. Um, I had made it here, and I made this in a different video. Um, I just made a new batch because the one that I made in that video was kind of old. Um, I'm probably not gonna save this or spare this, so let me just get it in there as much as, just work it in there as much as I can. Um, really get it in the ends, and it's so cooling. That aloe vera is doing what it does, y'all. That aloe vera is just really, sorry. I mean, it's really not this messy when I do it. It's just messy because I'm trying to get it done on camera. And like I always say, I'm an amateur at these things. So I'm doing everything um, for the first time, learning my angles and stuff on this camera shit. Excuse me. <clears throat> this camera stuff, you know, we, we're a wholesome channel, so we keep this PG. Um, so this is why it looks kind of like, you know, crazy or it looks like I'm making a huge mess, which I am because I typically just do this you know I just do it in my bathroom like I like a normal person would do but now I'm trying to capture everything that I do for you guys because I'm trying to you know put everybody on help everybody out and this is what we're doing to kind of save our lives right now okay so that's that on that let me just all right hold on I'm gonna show you what I do okay so give me a second okay so I was trying to find like my little you know, what's that called? That little um, deep conditioner bags, you know, where you just, you know, put it on your head, the little plastic. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I couldn't find it. Like, I just couldn't find it. I also changed my shirt because obviously I made a mess with the last one. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. Like I said, I, ooh. Okay. So I use one of these little clips. It, I mean, look. I'm gonna tell you right now, this feels so good. It feels amazing on my head. Like my scalp was starting to get really itchy. Like usually when it's time for me to wash my hair, I know. Like if I go longer than a week, I try to do it every week to cleanse my scalp. But if I go longer, depending on the hairstyle that I have, like usually if my hair is straight, I try to go a little longer with, you know, not washing it right away. But by the time my, my scalp is gonna tell me, it's gonna say, chick okay i was gonna say something else but it's gonna say chick it's time to wash your hair like stop playing stop playing like if she starts talking and yak yak yakking and nagging and screaming and stuff aka itching like and the itch only gets worse and no itchy hair does not mean growing hair it's not good okay so anyway this is what i do like i said you know if your home is a saturday is a sunday and you're doing this you know put it in for 10 20 minutes i did it on a dry head i was able to do that but if you require a little more moisture wet your hair first then put it on right so 20 minutes and then you you wash it off and then you do your um what's that thing your shampoo your conditioner your normal styling right so me like i said i'm a set and forget kind of girl meaning like i usually do things put things on and i just got other things to do i got 99 million hundred thousand other things to do so what i do is i put it on put it on like say i'm going to go pick up my kids from school right now so i'm gonna just put this hat on so yeah i'm gonna go pick up my kids now so what i do is i just put it on i'm gonna put this yeah i put my hat on i'm gonna put on my coat and just go about my business more than likely when i get home i gotta cook you know clean up a little bit do mom things and so probably Probably in the next God knows how long, maybe hour or two, I'll get to wash it off. I mean, it's all natural as eggs. Like it's not like a protein treatment, like no shade. It's not like it's Afro-G that if I don't wash it out, like within a immediate amount of time, like my, you know, like my hair strands are gonna break off. It's not like that. So it's fine, it's fine. 
and plus you know my hair could use the protein it's been a little while so it's fine like I said I did my I applied my um, DIY avocado and aloe vera mask which I have a video for and it's gonna be linked to this video you can check it out um, I add that first I'm gonna wash and then I'm gonna add my black rice water rinse to it yes like we're doing a double whammy and I'm showing it all to you right here here and now okay so we're gonna be back in about an hour two hours and I'll show you the next steps to this straight back to curly so stay right there we'll be right back in a couple of hours okay so it's several hours later and now I'm ready to wash this out my hair I'm gonna use colder water because just because it's better for your follicles and plus there's egg in this so you don't want to and yes I wash my hair in the sink because it's easier As I hate germs and a whole bunch of stuff on the sink so on the um from the bathroom and the bathtub and all that other stuff so anyway Okay, check me out. Check me out. Okay. Child, you would not think this was straight all that time. That was like, I don't know how many weeks, but. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm whispering because the kids are here. You know? But I am going to, deep condition um do i have a deep conditioner with me let me get one of my favorite deep conditioners that's affordable hold on okay really quickly so like i was saying because i keep looking at myself and the camera okay this right here is my like literally my favorite um, deep conditioning treatment for low porosity hair. It has no coconut oil and it doesn't have protein in it. Um, obviously I don't want protein in my hair every week, right? That's not good, especially if you have finer hair like I do, like th um, 3C or 3B or whatever I have, or even 4A, because, you know, our hair is more prone to breakage. And so too much protein is not a good thing. So while I love to do a protein mass treatment um when i'm transitioning from straight to curly i'm not always transitioning from straight to curly that's not an everyday situation lithuation there we go obia naturals it is dope please leave a comment below if you want me to 
you know, name like my top five, you know, deep conditioners. If you want them to be deep conditioners under a certain amount of money or top five, you know, cheap or expensive, whatever, just let me know. But this one leaves my hair feeling super duper soft, just moist, just everything, all of the above. Maybe I'll do it on camera. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll show you the results. But um, yeah, so it's late. I'm exhausted and I'm not styling anything tonight. I literally just wanted to transition, show you that not a curl is scathed. Okay, I'm gonna probably do this tomorrow. I'm gonna put this in and sleep with it overnight. Not everyone can do that, it's not recommended. Um, for everyone, my hair can definitely take it. Um, usually, because like I said, I'm low porosity, so it takes me a little while to absorb stuff anyway. So I'll just put this in, um, twist it up, like four big twists, and in the morning, I will do what I do. So I'll probably come back in the morning and show you that. Okay, boo, so in this video, I showed you basically how to make black rice water, a black rice water rinse so that you can strengthen your hair. Remember, black rice water is double the protein of regular rice, okay? So this is only for those people who have thinning, breaking hair, and it's not for you to use every single day, okay? Please, please, please do not put this in your hair every single day because too much protein is not good, right? You'll break your hair. So this is something that I use. My black rice water rinse is what I use when I'm coming back from straight hair because obviously straight hair is in its weak form. It's been straightened, it's been heat treated, and so it's time to put some protein back in there. And I use the black rice water because it has double the protein of regular rice water. Anyway, so in this video, I showed you how to make the rice water rinse. I showed you, you know, pretty much how I apply the rice water rinse and how I use it in my multiple step process to going back from straight to curly. And here's what we got. Now, I mean, <laughs> So again, I just wanna tell you, this is just awesome to do. I mean, it is an awesome recipe. It's a great DIY and I'll be honest, I will do black rice water and an avocado and aloe vera mask every day, all day before putting Afrogy in my hair. No shade, shade, no shade, but I'm just not putting Afrogy in my hair. I'm just not doing it because it's more at risk of breaking my hair than anything else. But that's that, you know, Check out the recipe for the DIY aloe vera and avocado mask with egg in it. Yes, it does because it's a protein treatment. Check that out. I'll link it down below or add it to the end of this video, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then just learn um, more about me and how I pretty much reverse my hair loss in 60 to 90 days. I mean, point blank in the period, she was diagnosed with female pattern hair loss. How? Where? You know? So. That's that in a nutshell and thank you.